in the lightweight division at UFC Paris. Got Bellagio Oki taking on Chris Duncan. And this is going to be the first of many lightweight fights on this card, which makes the card extremely intriguing. Oki, 9-1. Duncan, 11-2. Belgium versus Scotland in this one. Both guys stand 5'10". Chris Duncan, 3 years older at 31 years of age, but both right in the prime. Oki, 1-inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right-handed. Both guys very active, hovering right around 5 significant strikes per minute. Oki leads, you know, by a little bit there. Maybe outpacing him by 4 or 5 significant strikes throughout the fight, but that's really uh, very close, right? But Chris Duncan lands more takedowns. Over 1 per round, Oki just 1 every 3 rounds. So that's a big difference. Now, Oki, 83% takedown defense. Coming off the win over uh, Timmy Kuamba by split decision. Beat Dylan Salvador um, at the Contender Series by KO. So he's looked uh, impressive so far, dominating both fights in significant strikes and landing a takedown against Kuamba, but also giving uh, one up. Now, Chris, the problem, Duncan, just 33% takedown defense. Oki might be able to exploit that. He lost Emmanuel Torres by submission, but won three in a row against Yanal Ashmus. Decision, Omar Morales, split decision, and Charlie Campbell by KO. So he's won three of the last four. And it makes this one very tough to predict because, you know, Chris Duncan fell off a little bit in the last fight against Manuel Torres. But at the same time, we know he's a really solid fighter. But can the Zulu warrior, Balaji Oki, get the win? I think he can. I think he's going to do it with that 83% takedown defense. He's going to keep the fight standing. You're going to have a battle and sue on the feed, and Oki's going to slightly outpace Chris Duncan. But, you know, make no mistake, I'm nervous about the takedown game in this one, as I am in all these fights on this card, especially the lightweight fights. You know, are you overlooking, you know, the significant strikes are great, but you've got to be able to defend takedowns to support that, and at least Oki is 83%. So that gives me uh, the ability and the willingness to want to, you know, pick him to win this fight, but I do think it's going to be very close. I don't want that to be overshadowed, but Oki wins a very close fight by decision, two rounds to one, maybe split, but he'll get the win to move to 10-1. and one. In my opinion here, lightweight division, UFC, Paris.